just got off a, a one-to-one call with one of the Breakthrough team members and um, a couple of really interesting points came up that I thought it would be good to share with you. And we're thinking particularly about where you focus, what you do, what you offer, who you are to to the market. And the, the, the first idea that came along was um, just, just really a simple technique just to help you peel away at why you do what you do, right? So we've, we've got that question that we start off, which is possibly the most challenging question question of all, why do you do what you do? You know, what's the deepest motivation? And a, a linguistic tool that you can use to help you to figure that out is just to, when you write something down, as I, I you know, I, I, I do what I do because so-and-so. And then you can say that so-and-so because, right? Um, I like small. I like working with small businesses because I enjoy dealing with people face to face. Because I like seeing the the look on their faces when so and so. Because it makes me happy too. And if you keep going because because or you can say well why why that why that why that that might just help you to peel away the layers and get down to the absolute root cause of of what is that you you most care about because what what we find so often is especially when you've got businesses that are trying so hard to look like each other then they end up almost dressing the same because deep down everyone's different all people are different all companies and organizations are different but when you're trying to look the same then you tend to put on the same kind of look, the same kind of logo, the same kind of color scheme, the same kind of language and tone. And everyone starts to look the same because you've got a uniform. But if you peel away at stuff and you get down to the to the, the real uniqueness, what you find is that that tends to get emotional. I really care about this because I've seen what happens when that stuff goes wrong. And, you know, I love this and I hate that. And what you might find is that that's a real why. If that's if that's what actually motivates you, and you know what, what uh, Simon Sinek says in Start with Why is, if your why connects with, resonates with their why, as in your your target audience, your target market, your prospects why, then you you'll find a connection. And actually, that's why the circuit's called the circuit, when all these pieces are aligned. Right? They're all in place, they're all strong, and they're all lined up with each other. Then you get a flow of energy. And really, in marketing, that emotional connection is is ultimately what gets people to say yes, what gets people to buy, what gets people to join, to follow you, to become your customers. So that's, that's the first tip. The second tip is to do with constraints. Now, the... It can sometimes seem a bit counterintuitive to say, well, look, if, if I put some kind of constraint on what I do, won't it limit my market? And there may be some truth in that to a degree. So in the conversation we just had, we were saying, well, could you say I am the only person that delivers this service within this specific area, right? within 30 miles of so-and-so? Or I only deal with businesses that are smaller than five people. And that's because I like to know all my customers by name. I like to deal with them face to face, whatever it may be. Right. You see the, the synergy going on. But the reality is, if you broaden what you do, what you are, who, um, who you do it for, right? it can seem like then you can you're going to. Um, appeal to to more people, but you'll probably appeal less to those people. So what we actually want to do is want to become, we don't want to be blunt and broad. We want to be a spike. How many customers do you actually need? All right, so what do those customers really most want to hear? They want to hear, I deal only with people like you, because you're the kind of people I like to, I like to, uh, to, to serve. 
Um, I only deal in this area because I like to meet all my customers. Yeah. So it's a constraint that polarizes. Remember that polarizing is about attracting your ideal customer. And by the, by the same amount, by the same token, you repel the ones who are not right for you. So if somebody's 50 miles away or 100 miles away, they're not right for you. And by declaring who you are, who you work for, what you do, what you don't do, who you don't work for, what you're not, right? Those things really make it clear um, whether somebody's right for you, wrong for you, right? So if you don't want to deal with people 50 miles away, say that. And the people who are within your range will, by the same kind of measure, feel positively drawn to you and your message will seem positively appropriate to them. So I, I guess the point of this is don't dismiss the idea of constraining what you do out of hand because it may be your best friend.